Hey everyone, it's Farrick, and welcome to the best 69 plot gardening guide for Wizard 101 that you will find on YouTube. So the design you see before you is the design I'm going to show you how to make in this video. And before I get started, I just wanted to thank all of you 700 subscribers that subscribed to my channel especially most of you that came from my last video, which was the pet copying guide. Thank you so much for all the support and kind words you left. I will do my best to deliver and make the best Wizard 101 tutorials that I can make. If this is your first time watching a guide like this, you might wonder why 69 plants are needed. And that's because that's the maximum amount of plants that King's Isle set that can be taken care of in large spell rings like this one. So if there are more than 69, some of those plants would not be taken care of, even if it fits in the radius right here. So of all these furniture items, the only one you're going to absolutely need to make this plot is the low square table. And... All these other items are going to be for the likes for the plants, which decrease the total amount of time it takes for them to get to Elder, but I seriously recommend all of these anyways because they can decrease the total amount of time from 65 to 70%. So the furniture items you're going to need are the low square table, the tatami floor mat, a tropical garden gnome, four crates of ice cream which can be purchased with gold in the crown shop in the housing tab by typing in crate and clicking the gold tab. You're going to need a long blue runner which currently is in stock in the bazaar. You can also also get this from the final quest in the quest line to defeat the Kraken in Triton Avenue. And as for the exclusive items for couch potatoes, you're going to need the litter and sandwich station. These two can be obtained via couch potato harvests. You're going to need a medium pot and a king parsley seed. And if you don't have couch potatoes and have evil magma peas instead, you don't need these three, but instead you're going to want a small pot, an egg basket, a djembe drum, and any kind of boom shroom seeds. And the djembe drum and egg basket can both be obtained via harvests from evil magma peas. Now you can plant your garden anywhere that is plantable in the red barn farm or whatever house you're using, but I'm personally going to choose this area right here as the plot does fit regardless of plot size. And also you can take care of your plants easily from here whenever you enter your home. Each plot, regardless of size, is going to be a regular octagon that fits exactly on the center of the low square table. The only thing that really matters for these plots is the center point of all these plots. And that is because in this video, we're going to be using what is known as advanced move, and that allows you to do more accurate movements that are based on actual numbers, which makes it a lot easier to place furniture items exactly where you want. But this is also extremely useful for gardening, as this entire plot would not be possible without advanced move. So the way you plant this thing is that you're going to move the low square table to a specific place and then you plant a soil plot on the low square table and then you move the low square table a specific amount of units before planting the plot again and you move in rows. There are 10 total rows. Those go in this order. Two plots, then six plots, then eight, then eight, then 10, then 10, then eight, then eight, then six, then three. And all those add up to 69. So the way advanced move works into this is that you click this, you click advanced move, and you're going to want to go into absolute movement because that's what's going to allow us to make the garden regardless of what position you're standing in. So what you're going to want to do is every time you place down a soil plot, you're just going to want to move the low square table by 80 units in the next direction for the next plot. And to do 80 units, you just have to turn your sensitivity slider all the way down to max and then click one, two, three, four times. It moves 20 units when it's at its max sensitivity. And to move that 80 units, you just need to click four times and then place down your next plot. Now I'm going to run through me making the plot on this account right here. And we're going to start with the first row. So what I'm going to do is move the low square table right here as closest to this green path as possible. And I'm going to take my large soil because I do have couch potatoes, but this does work on medium plots as well. And the first row is just going to be two plots. So we're going to go to advanced move, one, two, three, four, accept large soil and just plant it. And all you have to do is hover it near the low square table and it will plant it. And these two plots both are plantable because they do meet that minimum distance requirement. Now the first row is complete. So now we're going to do the second row. So again, it needs to be moved up now. Four clicks, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to move it one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's because this row right here is going to have six plots. So I'm going to have three here on one half and three at the other half. So I planted the first. Now I'm just going to go all the way down doing four clicks between each plot. All right, so we finished six here. Remember the next row is going to have eight. So again, one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four, place down your soil. And I'm going to do another seven on this one going down this way now. All right, we're done with three out of the 10 rows. And remember the next row is also going to be eight. So we're just gonna do one, two, three, four. We sound our first plot and then just go seven more, just like we did with this one, except we're going in this direction now. So we're kind of like zigzagging back and forth, basically. All right, that's eight on this row. And now I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the reason why I'm starting one over is because this one is going to be a row of 10. So we're gonna do two rows of 10, then two more rows of eight, then a row of six, and then a row of three. All right, now for the second row of 10 lots. All right, so we finished the second row of 10, so now we're going to move back to eight. All right, so that's one of the rows of eight. And now we need to do one, two, three, four. And we're gonna do another row of eight. All right, so I just finished the second row of eight. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do the last row of six and also the second to last row left in this garden. All right, so we just have one more row and this row is actually going to have three. So the way we're going to do this to make it as symmetrical as possible is we're gonna do one, two, three, four, obviously to move on to the next row, but we're gonna do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna do one, two. Now, remember, since we moved it up four, it's still at least those minimum four clicks away. This plot will still be plantable. And since we need to do three on this last row, we're just gonna go one, two, three, four in this direction. One, two, three, four to get it back to this place. One, two, three, four, click accept, and plant our final plot. Now that took just under 18 minutes to do, and this is 69 plots. This was very easy. It's a very nice looking design, but we are not complete yet. At this point, you can technically plant all your plants, but in order to ensure maximum efficiency of elder harvests, we're gonna float the likes. So remember, I'm using couch potatoes, so I'm gonna show you how to do these things, but if you have evil magma peas, you can still do the same method that I'm about to do and float these the same. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your tatami floor mat, put it next to the long blue runner, and you'll want your four crates of ice cream stacked in this two by two fashion. Take your floor mat, and once you put it next to your long blue runner, whenever you move the floor mat, it will move the blue rug as well. You're just gonna wanna put it on top of the crates, then just take one column of the crates and you can move this over. Now just use your scroll wheel to rotate this and try to center it as best you can. Then the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your pot, try to center that as best as you can. Place it down, then take your tropical garden gnome, place that, and then take both of your other likes. I'm actually going to place my garden gnome over here, place my litter there, take my sandwich station, and place that right there. So now I'm just going to move this column of crates again, and now these are all floating here. And then as a final step, just take my king parsley, 
Or if you have your small plot for your evil magma peas, take your boom shroom and plant it on that pot. And remember, this works for medium plots as well. So that entire process, including floating all the likes up, took under 20 minutes to do, and it was very easy compared to my last Couch Potatoes tutorial, and this works for both medium and large plots. Now, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have at least 138 energy to be able to plant all your plants, and take your plant, plant one of them into any one of the plots, and go to your utility spells, and click plant all. Now, this spell costs 300,000 gold, and can be purchased from Roger the Shrubber and Avalon. If you click on a plant that you have planted and press a yes, it will just plant all of the plants in all of the remaining plots. Now, of course, if you don't have this spell, you can still plant them individually. It will take a lot longer to do that. So as soon as you get 300,000 gold and are at least a rank 15 gardener, go ahead and buy that spell and it will save you a ton of time. And remember, when you get to mature or young or whatever stages where plants start getting needs, just remember, take any of your large ring spells and as soon as you enter your home just aim it and just make sure it roughly lines up there and you should be able to hit every single one of these plots as I will demonstrate right here I'm just gonna use my pest spell and it does hit all of them all right this concludes the tutorial much simpler much quicker much better than last time if you found this helpful please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to be notified of when I upload future tutorials and other wizard 101 content Thank you for watching and goodbye.